will lift temperatures to a remarkable zero, or maybe just minus one. The snow that's coming into the southeast corner should be light. It's just going to continue ducting. We shouldn't settle on any significant roads. Of course, it's already lying snow on your drive. If the that is just, we start to say sub zero, pretty hard frost once again. Ice is going to be a major problem. Marcus, he's, he's really good at skiing. He's quite tall, but got lots of style and he likes to go fast. Going on with Marcus, uh... It's, it's sick skiing with the guy. I mean, he's freaking free ride world tour champ. You can't beat him. He's a bad dude. Yeah. Well, Finn, Finn is a park skier. Uh, he's been to the Olympics. He does all the big comps and, uh, well, like, should I start over again, or is that fine, or how is that? Just, just, just keep talking. Fabio is our favorite um, Instagram person. You know you're gonna have mad content to repost, you know? He's on top of that. We're definitely not on top of the uh, <laughs> Instagram story, so anytime he's around, it's like, nice, there's my content for the day. All right, let's go get some sweet Swiss spines, huh? Uh, so I rolled into having missed the first kind of week and um, the boys had prepared the, the campers. There was a good stench of lighter fluid mixed with a little bit of old frozen ski boots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it only added to some of the stoke that was uh, building throughout the week. out there and then there would be this spot and we'd be like ah looks like a pretty flat landing but Ahmed's like yeah I don't give a shit. He probed us wrong a couple of times when he was landing some of the flattest landings that I've ever seen. I've definitely spent a lot of time looking for my headphones I think all of you guys have seen that. <laughs> I 
I would say I'm not a big fan of like no pole riders, but but he because when you ski no pole, you have to make it look really good and like compact, for my opinion. And he is doing that pretty good. Yeah, he has a really good. He's maybe one of the best no pole rider out there. Wow, I'm I'm glad I got Fabio's approval, man. <laughs> <laughs> means means the world to me. <laughs> Thank you, Fabio. <laughs> nah, that's cool. Changing his mind, one person at a time. Fed, I mean, he's just like fresh meat, isn't he? He's in the backcountry like he would ski in the park. And he's like he's like one of the younger guys, so we have to we have to keep up with him. Yeah, it was cool just to see how all the boys kind of contribute, everyone contributes, whether Fabio's uh, having a wee lunch break during building or not. Um, <laughs> everyone definitely puts in a lot of work to get, get shots done. Um, I did a lot of cool videos they used later for the Instagram story. I knew it was sick to see. <laughs> Lock factory. Paddy, he still got the juice. He's old, but he still got the juice. Yeah. <laughs> Fortunately, the race drone is pretty small, so if it would hit you, it would, might cut your eyeballs out or it might cut your nose off or something, but um, you wouldn't die from it, so it's okay. Yeah, the drum definitely gets in the way of, of all the shots. Because it's always in there so close with everybody. But uh, it's a small price to pay for having the cool shots following so closely that you can't get without it.
Paddy got in touch with me and said, can you do some animations for my film? And I thought, well, yeah, because this would be a perfect way of me getting all of my snowboarding cover shots into a skiing film. Whoa! Ah!